All right, so I'm Kristen here with the first band to play tonight, correct? Yes. yes. All right, now would you boys yeah. like to introduce yourselves, what you do, and your band, please? Who wants to start? Uh, sorry, Manny, guitar. Mick, guitar. Jeff, bass, and vocals. Uh, Will, drums. Brilliant. And what is your band? We are Brilliant. I like it. For those that, <laughs> for those that don't speak death metal, that's Belias. <laughs> I think yeah. he had that covered for okay. you though. Okay. He did, he did the cute kawaii yeah. bullshit. I like it. I dig it. There's always gotta be that one weirdo in the group. Yeah, he's through. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all of them. Those yeah. that can't all see his one. face, he's currently oo wooing. Oh, don't way. worry. I have pictures of all of you guys. Yeah. They will see. We'll see the ooh. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> I am ominous. It's you are very. Mildly I mean, threatening. you are by my car, and I do have the trunk right oh, here, shit. and the keys are in my pocket. So you know. I'm trapped. How quickly can we get through this interview to get to that part? Never I mean, really. we can just kill him right now. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> Shit! I literally have bondage rope in my backpack right I'm now. In. I know you I'm do. in already. I'm down. Let's do it. I know you do. Fuck. <laughs> What, what the fuck? Start. What kind of interview is this? Dude? <laughs> yeah, that's We're that's derailed, it. just like uh, a D&D &D campaign. This is going to the authorities. Uh, <laughs> Eventually, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I'm kidding. Moving okay, on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> my bad. Derailing, did, like did I always. Say her real quick? Did I no. say my name was Jeff? It's um, <laughs> it's Mick. <laughs> Beef Davidson. <laughs> Beef Davidson. Yeah, my, my name is Beef Davidson. We, we can do this. Okay. All right. Collectively, between the four of us, we might make one full. There is adult. a there is a brain cell within the four. <laughs> um, Maybe half. It's not a good one. Um, Next question. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. It'll work. All right. Now, would you like to give us a little bit about the history of your band? I'd love to know about you guys. That's a Mick question. Uh, question. Yeah. Uh, started in 2013. It took a while to be born. Uh, songs came along the way, and then these fine gentlemen joined me in 2017 and been a band ever since. I like it. I yeah. like it. Now, let's go on to the concept of the competition. What made you boys want to compete tonight? Well, for the record, I fucking hate Battle of the Bands with a passion. I just can't stand them. Me personally. But knowing that, knowing what it was for, there's no question. I can't. Not. Try. It's fucking yeah, Vakken. Yeah, that's, that's... I can't not compete for Vakken. I think that's like any metalhead's fucking dream to fucking play Vakken. So yeah, so better yeah, that, that was, yeah. yeah, seriously. I just remember watching the videos from like fucking like Death playing in '98 and shit. No, no, that was Dynamo. Never mind. Oops, so, Dynamo, Westlock, so, all that stuff. Yeah. Want to play from this shit? Just play overseas. You know, it's all about it's winning awesome. the boat. Yeah. In that boat, boys. Yeah, yeah, let's get boat. that boat on the water. Let's get that ship sailing. No. I'm pretty, weight that's limit just on? one of those. No, there's not. No weight limit? All right. 70,000 cool. tons of metal. Yeah, I can get on it then. <laughs> I, sure I, I guess I just yeah. feel like most people, if they got to that point and they were able to be on one of those stages, you did something right. Yeah. You could kill me tomorrow. Mm hmm. <laughs> Exactly. Do you want to play first, or do we get to kill you before? Well, let do you me want to die sure, happy, sure or...? Play first. He okay. meant tomorrow okay. after well, playing, if you not want... tomorrow Okay, today. fine. Want, Damn kill... it, ruining my dreams. <laughs> we could kill him first and then just prop him up on stage, and he could just be a fucking... How, How much room do you have in your we trunk, I guess, is the question. I mean, I was able to touch his burn entire uh, yeah. color floor there, so let's try it. Yeah, okay. I got this. I like this idea. Better have an axe if you're going to put this guy in your trunk. I hope you have enough... You know, space I'm a barbarian. Let's, let's fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> that might take a while. No, no, this is just symbolizing what I like to use. There is an axe somewhere in my life. Yeah, that was like that's nice. It's like no, Andy no. Dufresne chipping away at the fucking wall for like oh, six no. years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now let's continue on with this competition. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you guys have gotten a chance to scope out a little bit of the competition, if, oh, yeah, whether it be beforehand or now or. In a little while. Oh, we're all notoriously competitive, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brilliant. Even right Definitely now, That's perfect for this question. Okay. What's the band for you to beat tonight? I like to hear about this sort of thing. Like, who who is the band you want to beat the most? I don't I don't know their name yet because okay, listen to the rest of the bands. Like, I liked all of it honestly. Valid. Um, and it jumps all over the board style-wise. Like, nobody it really does. sounds the same. Right. But I want to know... Okay, because I went inside to go grab our dolly. 
and whoever had just finished, I don't know who they were, was like everybody's in the crowd yelling one more song, one more song. The band that played after you? Whoever was no. just on, like, that was the third. Oh, yeah, they're over there. Okay, okay. there you go. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're very there. nice place. The, the crowd was screaming one more song, one that's more it? song. Like that's that's a that's a great moment for yeah, any band. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, SoCal loves her thrash. Of course, yeah. you can never go wrong with thrash. So whoever that was, that's who I want to be. Oh, they're right there. <laughs> yeah. I respect you. Love to hate. <laughs> Love to hate. <laughs> Hashtag petty life. <laughs> I like it. It's cute. So it's better than all the rest of them. That's all I'm saying. Hey, there's got to be better than the other guy. Better than all of them. Yeah. If you ain't first, you're last. That's what I say. Okay, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Shake and bake. Gotta get that W. Now let's keep going on with the competition. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's, 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 that's later in the questions. Jesus. <laughs> Quit giving it away. Hey, you brought the bondage in a good day, dude. That's true. I'm the one that used to make sex dolls. Fucking fight me. We have That's one in there. I don't want Hi, to. real doll. I have a bucket of latex at home. Let's, like, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my favorite coworker was the dominatrix. <laughs> She's adorable. I'll just find a ride home. <laughs> Hi, I'm going to, I live in San Diego. No. There you go. Go for the weekend. Anyway. <laughs> Honey, I gotta get my hair done and I'm off to Detroit on fucking Tuesday after the fucking... Back by the weekend. Oh, obituary. I haven't moved obituary? in. You're already laying down all these fucking things. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 I, I like the confidence. I like the confidence. <laughs> now, on to this question. Okay. Oh, okay. What made... What do you guys want to do first if you make it all the way to Vakken? What is the first thing you're doing? Drinking beer. D uh, yeah. Gotta, get, gotta no, have the German beer. That's that's the German German putting my tender on. <laughs> the it is the greatest no. beer in all the world. On the tinder. <laughs> yeah. On the tinder. tinder. Yeah. I, I mean, I tinder's how coffee and metal found me. I I I German. It's all about priorities. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I just want to hear that first note come out of the speakers. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's right there. That's yeah, what I want to swear. Yeah. I'm walking. Oh. You can see them. But we're playing. In the future. But for sure beer too. VF. First beer, then the most. And then oh, you yeah. have time before you go play. You might yeah, as well I get a beer. Yeah. Oh, Here's a guy that'll sit in the plane just waiting till like it's almost time to play. Yep. Seventeen more hours. That'll be me. Get a fucking bratwurst at least. First thing that I would want to do. That too. Yeah, a beer tacos. The there you go. Tacos. Tacos. Do they have tacos there? I'm pretty sure they do. I wouldn't be surprised. Honestly, the first thing that I would want to do is I would want to see the stage. I would want to get there as soon as possible and just sit there looking at the stage while I secretly bury my giant bottle of vodka to leave for the show. Find a good hiding spot. Yeah. <laughs> That's adorable and very weird. I like it. Like a squirrel and shit. Maybe. Just leave it there to, to the squirrel. Stop being so squirrely. You better start living up to your nickname or I'm gonna take it from you. Fucking reason five million. Alright. Now let's touch a little bit of a more sad topic. If you had to renounce your win, what band tonight would you want to take your place? Fucking the last band that just went on because probably been the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Honestly. Yeah. Whoever, Same. whoever earned that, whoever earned a fucking encore shout, earned the tickets. You know. Valid. Valid. I'm not gonna renounce it though. So. <laughs> no. Hey, hey, hey! You never fucking know. That's why I ask these questions. Yeah. I like getting all the juicy bits. I don't give up W's, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so if I had to, da, 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 never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, you'd have I'm to sorry, fight boys. me pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't happens. care if I'm missing no. a leg, I'm fucking going. So, I dig it. So, I dig it. I'll play like this. I don't care. I don't care if I recover. Tis but a flesh wound. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now, let's talk about the future. Okay. What advice would you give to any band that wants to compete for Vakken? Next year. Fucking practice. Be prepared. Yeah. Practice. practice. Be on time. Practice. Be on time for sure. Yeah, yeah you always have to do good. Honestly, I, what you had said the other day, I think, is a yeah. good answer to that. What? Like, gotta I'm make it just, to heaven, if even if I'm going to hell. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't know. You were saying a bunch. You were saying a bunch of shit about yeah, like shit. Not, basically not letting shit stop you. Like, no matter what's going on. There's no real valid excuse to stop yeah. what you gotta keep on Termination. Yeah. yeah. Termination. You just gotta see it. See a way to make it happen, no matter what. Yeah. You always gotta find a way. You legit, like, 
to do anything with this, you have to be really fucking passionate about what you're doing. You got to make it a huge part of your existence. Yeah. And that's why I'm out here, and I've been out here every weekend from San Diego because metal is my life. Awesome. And, and LA is a killer spot. For you. I miss living out here. I lived out here for college, okay? I had a nice dorm in fucking downtown. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh downtown's the spot, dude. Dude, I lived in the Met and I also lived in the Park Liberia. Oh, shit, I know. Right. Yeah, I was a fucking bougie girl. Straight up. That's what happens when you go to fancy college. What no, college? No, thanks, to? Dad. Right, um, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, hi, I'm a designer. Oh, nice. I want to design stage work for bands at one point in my life. That is the dream. You need, you need guinea pigs? I would love guinea hey, pigs. Yeah, guinea pigs. I love guinea, guinea pigs. Yeah. Can you stage close? Because as you can tell, yeah, we're looking for people. <laughs> so does she. Hey, hey, we're in the we're in the neutral stuff. Is always a good start. That's true. Yeah. No, it's all I got. Hey, it works. All right, now, where can we find more of your content, your social medias, places that you just like to share what's going on, what you're doing, and where we can just find more about you boys. Well, we kind of like just driving up and down the street, throwing albums at people that obviously don't want them. That sounds like Los Angeles. It's effective marketing. It works. Yeah. But it works. Um, all the typical shit, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify. Uh, um, Blind, yeah. All the streams are yeah. Huh? <laughs> Where can you find our oh. shit? No, I heard the question. I just I He's wanted to see who you um, <laughs> There's that brain cell we were talking about. Yeah. You are the brain cell. Yes, there you go. It's just you. <laughs> just you. The solo brain cell of the entire band right now. I mean, it bounces around. <laughs> so I said right now. I said right now. Right. Right. Pretty soon, right we'll now, on YouTube. Really now. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. On YouTube, yeah, as well. Definitely. Yes, and definitely sure. do that. Like, we, we, we <laughs> fucking finally finished recording our full length album. <laughs> yeah. So that's like coming later. out soon, but later. Hopefully, sooner really? later, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we just bare like just about like a couple of weeks ago we finished that. Mm. And it's fucking awesome, honestly. Like yeah, best experience ever. I I love the local scene. I love the local bands. Like I I really do. I love what people are doing. But I haven't heard anything like this album come out of L.A. Fuck yeah, mm. I like that. Now, last question: mm? Is there anything new in the works you would like to share, or at least give a little hint to for any new fans or old fans? Wind it. So the same thing. What are you saying? That we just finished re recording an album and when you release it, you gonna tell us? Yeah. So that would be the first thing I would say. Keep an eye out. It'll be out soon. Right now we have uh, three songs demo on Spotify. So if you want to listen to us now, that'd be the place to start. We have videos on, online, YouTube, and uh, yeah, we're always posting stuff to our Facebook, our Instagram. That's. Well, thank that's, you, boys. That's the end of my brain cell. That's the end of the brain cell. Well, I guess that's all, folks. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Can't expect much more out of us at this point. Yep. Hey, that's yeah. fine. I'm, I'm right on just pre-workout, so we're good. <laughs> well, thank you, boys, and good luck. May the odds ever be in your favor. You were going to say you. may the force be with you. Though. Yes, I was. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> well, thank you, boys. Thank you. Fucking sick, man. <laughs>、correct yes all right would you guys please introduce yourselves what you do and your band please uh my name is isaac or mr vulgar i'm lead vocals for program to hate i am martin i am the lead guitarist of program to hate i'm auto you can call me autobot i'm the rhythm guitarist from program to hate <laughs> i'm ricky call me ricky and i'm the drummer for program to hate i'm nico and i play bass for program to hate all right well thank you so much now that we have you introduced can we get a little bit of information on your band and maybe some of the history mm -hmm. yeah definitely uh well otto and i here we've been working on music for the last i'm gonna say six years uh, we were in a previous band together and then we just we set the way from that and it took us a few years to get what we're doing now going and i think we have a great set of musicians and we're just we love doing what we're doing right now it's fucking beautiful it's great now on to the competition itself okay now what made you boys want to compete tonight uh it's been a dream of mine to open up for slipknot for once so this is just like that opportunity and i think it's a great opportunity for us to just 
Yeah, like win or lose, you know, get our name out there, perform at the legendary Viper Room. Yeah. What about you guys? Exactly. Um, I always wanted to play in a big stadium in front of thousands of people, moshing to our music and. I mean, it's not fun. a stadium, but it but is the biggest festival in. Backyard show, what? anything. As long as we have people getting crazy to our music, it's Enjoy all that matters. It, yeah. Ditto. I'm with him. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Uh, the way that this band has grown since I've joined it, which was approximately like a year ago or so, just to see it go from quite literally just practicing in a garage to now playing at the Viper Room, it's, it's been one hell of a journey. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can easily agree. Like, when I was younger, I would like watch bands play at like the church that I used to go to, and I was like, dude, that's so sick. Like, that's fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know I'd be playing metal instead of like some Christian music, but, uh, <laughs> Like, the first time I played with people, when I first started playing bass, like, when you play with other people, it just makes you smile easily. Like, it makes you laugh, it makes you smile. And if, if there's a lot of people out there who would appreciate that, like people moshing, like crushing each other's skulls and shit like that, that would definitely be a dream come so true. Especially that. opening for awesome bands like Overkill, Pestilence, all those bands that are playing at Wacken. Fucking. That's Fuckin'. okay. Don't worry. They already know how Americans pronounce it. <laughs> That's okay. They already know we're terrible. <laughs> All right. Now, let's dive a little bit deeper into this competition. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have gotten a chance to look at a little bit of the competition oh, tonight. Sure. If you haven't done research, you've seen a few of them play, or you will see more of them play. But, um,. From what you've gathered so far, who is the band to beat for you tonight? It's well, at least personally, I think it's Mortalis. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Mortalis is <laughs> the, the, the ones the that followed you up. Yeah, the one that followed us up. They 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 got a hard act to follow. Them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, the competition only gets juicier but, as the night goes on. But but yeah, I, I think I think the band to watch for tonight is Mortalis. Yeah, yeah, sure. agreed. All right, well, I like that. Always love hearing people talk about the bands that they support, <laughs> whether it be in a competition or not. Now, let's keep diving deeper into this competition. Uh-oh. What would you guys do first if you actually were able to make it all the way to Vakken? What is the first thing you're doing? <laughs> when, we, when we get to Germany or how? I mean, well, you I can... Think a, I think you a solid backflip. Backflip? Yeah. You, you can do a backflip? No, but I think in the moment, in the heat of the moment, it'll just happen. It'll just spawn, you know? I like the enthusiasm. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I would fucking cry. Oh, that's <laughs> like, so it's cute. Just, it's just, it's been such a dream to, you know, to, to perform in front of people, you know, like, it's just, I've, I've dreamt about it for life and for it to actually come true, that's just, that's, that's honestly, it would be a dream come true. Um, yeah, that's. Um, I'll get a tattoo. Oh yeah, they do the they do the fucking tattoos. Get a tattoo. Dude, oh, Dallas yeah. fucking got it. That, that, I'll get a tattoo. I'll watch funny. you cry and I'll watch you do a backflip. Then you cry because you didn't land the backflip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when you have that's him facts. get the dumbest tramp stamp. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You have him get like a Vakin tramp stamp while he's like unconscious. Oh, there we go. That's the best way to go. Write that down. Write that down. Don't worry, it's recorded. <laughs> that means you just have to go back and listen. Yes. Wow. <laughs> you, got you got an idea what you want to do, buddy? Definitely, I know I'd have some bragging rights playing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Definitely have some fucking bragging rights playing a festival like that at like a young age, not to pull my own tail, but. Okay, but have you played at Vakken Festival, bro? <laughs> yeah, type <laughs> of that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but definitely I would celebrate like a motherfucker. Definitely pound a few beers, a few cases. Oh, I yeah. mean, German beers, you gotta try that That's shit. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm not a beer person, but I would definitely have to drink a German beer straight from Germany. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Martin, lead guitarist, the sauce of the sauce. The sauce what would of you the do, sauce? Huh? Huh? Oh, my God. Huh? Dish. What'd you do? What'd you gotta do? Shit, I'll be. Uh Fuck my energy will be. I'll be jumping up and down. I'll be running all running all over. I'll be smacking everybody's <laughs> thighs or buzz or head. I'll be I'll be being being a pedophile to everybody. Like, oh. Isaac, we did it. <laughs> I'll be so excited. A normal be, day. So a normal much, day. A normal day. A normal day with just a little, a little bit more energy. A little bit more energy. A little bit okay. more twangy. More little. Hey, as long as you're true to yourself, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. This man. Huge excitement. All right. Now that we've talked about winning. Let's talk about a sadder subject. 
Okay. If you had to renounce your win, what band tonight would you want to carry the torch in your honor? Mortalis. I'm gonna sure. stick to my guns. Yeah. Mortalis. Yeah. Still gonna stick to your boys. Mortalis all the way. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, you know, it's funny. They're, we look up to them, but just just want to beat them. You know, like <laughs> I get that. It's a competition. Yeah, they're just, your yeah. rivals in the yeah. best way. Yeah, exactly. You can't hate. Exactly. You can't hate on in the words of Ric Flair, to be the best, you gotta beat the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's go. what I like to hear. That's true. I like hearing this brotherhood that metal has for each other. Like, win or lose, you guys always have each other's backs. No, and I love that. All right. Now, let's talk about next year. What would you say to bands who want to do the same thing you're doing? What would you say to anyone who wants to compete or even just play at stages like this? Work on your, on your stage presence. Mm -hmm. You know, regardless of how good you sound, if you don't carry that stage presence that charisma that energy to get the crowd going regardless of how tight you sound it's not gonna matter it's it's you have to you have to connect with the crowd you just you gotta you gotta give that that extra energy and then they you know they feed off your energy you feed off of their energy and then, then it snowballs if if you're not there regardless of how much I like their music no one's gonna get moving no one's gonna get going you, they gotta feed off of your energy so Obviously, like, make sure your sound is tight, but, like, your stage presence, that's, that's key. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, I'd say, like, if you really want to do it, if you're, like, a young band out there looking to play music in front of people, if you want to do it, just fucking do it and play your heart out until you fucking drop. Really yeah. Easily. Just yeah, like, um, honestly, uh, I would say about the same thing. I would say, you know, just if, if there's a, even a doubt in your mind that, you know, you know, like, this might not happen still just push through it like it doesn't matter how small you think your band is as long as you cut oh, through it you know <laughs> oh our friendly competitors are over there <laughs> but yeah um that, that would be my advice just to even you know don't don't minuscule how uh, what's the word i'm looking for don't make your band smaller than what it is you know push through even though you feel like you might not Get over that self-doubt. Yeah, get over that self-doubt. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Definitely. On the way here, I was like fucking a shitting brick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the closer I got to the venue, like the more nervous I got. But as soon as I got on stage, I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Finding Nemo. <laughs> um, I say just have fun and fuck shit up. Like, it's an experience you could tell your kids, your friends, your parents, your dog, your cat. Whoever's gonna fun. listen or whoever doesn't want to yeah, listen, yeah, just make me hear it. Oh, fuck shit up. actually, I got one more piece of advice, and it's actually really short. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just it's play it it's off. okay to it's okay to mess up. Yeah, you know, just keep on going through with it. Yeah. yeah. Who cares if you fall as long as you get back up? Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Act yeah. like it was part of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking own that shit. Um, on my side, as a good, uh, my side is get comfortable with your with your with your, with your bandmates because that's the main i've been in a tough time with the bandmates that i felt uncomfortable with and it's just if you're not feeling comfortable like a family with your with your bandmates you know it's, that's it's not it work. it's not gonna work you gotta make sure there's love good connection and you gotta be happy if you if you have a verge of like not showing up to practice because you don't want to see somebody then don't do it and then but if you feel a tight connection with like the boys over here that's a whole different story. It's yeah. a whole love story, right? That's the biggest thing, right there, because you don't want to end up turning it into a fight when somebody starts messing up, and then we we all have love with each other. It's beautiful. The it's chemistry. Easy. It's easy. Yeah. I mean, hell, Romstein, they fucking go to couples therapy together, and I that's know. how they keep their band good. That oh, is, I know. Because that's... for them, a band's a relationship. Romstein. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. But yeah, they go to fucking couples therapy to make sure everybody's fucking good and chill with each other. And yeah. honestly, that's pretty fucking smart. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. fucking but that plays on what... Me. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> now, where can we find more of your content? Any of your social medias? What can you give us so we can find more of you and follow you guys better? Uh, program underscore two underscore hate. We are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all your music streaming services as well as Program to Hate. Um, we got a we got a single out 
we got a full EP coming out in a few short months. Now, would you like to elaborate on that full EP? Because uh, we would love to hear a little bit about uh, anything new in the works, Ooh. even if it's just shows. So, in terms of shows, um, we have been playing a bunch of shows. These will be our our last shows. Uh, meanwhile, we get working on it. May 7th or May 6th, uh, we're dropping that EP. And then on May 7th, we're playing a, a EP release show at Sound Studios in Van Nuys. Uh, shortly after that in June, we're going out to New York uh, to promote that EP. And yeah, like we, t tonight we performed uh, our new song. It's our first time playing it. And it just, the crowd response to it was fucking beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, and we can't wait to see who wins. Thank you. Good luck, and great hearing you guys play. We can't wait to see more. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you guys. Woo! <laughs> do 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 Okie dokie. All right, we are here with the third band to play tonight, correct? Yes. Yes. Ooh, Jesus. All right, now, would you boys please introduce yourselves, what you do, and your band, please, and thank you. Well, we are Mortalis. Uh, speaking now is Sergio Montes de Oca. I am uh, vocals and lead guitar. I am Vince, and I play the bass. I am Luis, and I play the drumos. Hi, I'm Austin, and I play the guitar. Nice. Wow. All right, and what was your band again, boys? Mortalis! Mortalis! I love it, I love it. Huzzah. All right, now. Who would like to talk a little bit about the history of the band? Who knows the most? <laughs> or who remembers the most at the moment? It's okay, it's okay. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of uh, if and whatever with the the years, but I would want to say every single time. 2013, it was myself and uh, Luis here, high school, what, junior year? Yeah, junior year, summer, summer, summer. Summer, yeah, summer, actually sophomore year. Oh, yeah. Going into summer, yeah, it's yeah, a sophomore yeah, yeah. year. Wait, so, y'all motherfuckers are younger than me? Oh, uh, what? Maybe, maybe. I maybe, graduated maybe. in 2013. Yo! Oh, <laughs> not that much older than us. <laughs> Yeah, man. You're okay. Uh, I, dude, I finished college when I was 20. Jeez, that's what's amazing. Hey, you finished college, college. I just finished what are you college, college about? last year. That's good stuff right there. I'm still in there. I just started. Y'all are babies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it was all right. Uh, Crisis averted. <laughs> but, Let's keep going. Okay, okay. But it was 2013. It was just one of those typical stories where I, uh, you know, I've been playing guitar since fifth grade uh, up until like that point. So I, was, I had quite a bit of years under my belt. Uh, I heard that this guy played drums. Uh, just a friend that said, hey, he's got drums. Yeah, so I, I was kind of a fucking asshole because I was just basically telling everyone, oh, yeah, dude, I can totally play the drums, this, this, and that. And I'm like, I only watched one Metallica video and bought, like, <laughs> an entire fucking Tama drum set on, like, total impulse. So, uh, yeah, Sergio over here was, like, basically, oh, dude, I know you play drums, bro. So he invited me over and uh, I was doing everything in my power to avoid him being like, oh, dude, he can't find out I'm a fraud. <laughs> but he, he ended up uh, getting me. So he was just, like, persistent every single time. And at some point, we actually ended up jamming for the first time together and that's when I uh, was hearing the beautiful noises of Iron Maiden to his solos and I'm like I'm over here fucking up playing like one two beats like I can't even fucking make anything but yeah that's that's kind of from there we ended up like finishing our first uh, you know first jam session but other than that after that we were like dude we got to make this a fucking band so we ended up going the whole way with it and it's been uh, history ever since so yeah hell yeah I like it yeah well, he's been playing drums since we started this band, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect! <laughs> he learned for this band! Yeah, we learned only for this band! Same thing with so actually it's our bases, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. You only bass in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to give your introduction? Yeah, yeah as, as the story progressed, we had other members, uh, yeah. but... You guys were looking for a bassist? Yeah. It wasn't me at first. Yeah, yeah it wasn't. Oh, yeah. It wasn't him, but it ended up being him! It's fine, it's fine. I remember having Vince, our bassist, here for for a chemistry class, and I remember he was telling me, like, Oh, yeah, you know what? I can play, like, some simple Zelda covers here and there. Like, for, like, a month at that point yeah <laughs> and i was like oh picture. yeah so he started ended up playing with our other friend who ended up becoming our singer uh but i was like i started getting a little jealous and i'm like <laughs> i need my own basis now was stolen that was much. so yeah i was like you know what hey you should come over for a jam session at our little backyard over here and so uh he ended up uh basically forcing him over and i was like hey dude join the band and stuff so yeah i ended up going for mystery oh this way Okay, in between the cars! The pilgrimage, the journey. Audio. Don't worry, you can sit on my car, I don't give a fuck. It's all candid. It's a little dirty though. That's fine, that's fine. Hey, I've watched it since like fucking Psycho, so you know, I don't fucking care. <laughs> how, how was your perspective, by the way? Uh, you know, I was like, uh, yeah, pretty much I was jamming with my friend Jesse, who was at the time the singer for the band at the, at the moment, and then um, I'd been jamming with them every day during a whole like summer, and these guys basically pulled me over and just told me to jam with them one day got and there. then they wouldn't let you go 
Yeah. They wouldn't let me go pretty much. I still won't let him yeah. go. I went there with my yeah. little yeah. fucking baby he amp tried. that was like one foot by one foot. Oh, that's right. Just playing with them, not even being able to hear myself, not even know what the fuck they're playing. That's how you play bass. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how you play bass. Very this quietly. guy had like 10 years experience. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. So I just didn't go back and then this guy told me to come back again. Now the rest is history. I'm fucking here. I'm the bassist. How about you, Austin? How, how was your experience? So, uh, I, I mean, what, I, we do, we yeah, the years everybody. don't exactly remember. I think it was 2017-ish, something like that. Uh, but I joined because I was in another band called Short Focus, and I'd been with them for a few years, stuff like that. And you know, I'd played some shows at Mortal House. I kind of knew the guys not too well, but you know, they had some other people at the time. And then they parted with them, and they had a jam session with me, and. That jam session was just, I, at first I was like, okay, cool, we're just kind of jamming. And then the other guy wasn't there, so I was just like, okay, we're just jamming, it's the three of us. And then it became the four of us. <laughs> and then yeah. I think we played a show in a studio somewhere that was kind of like a podcasting interview kind of thing. And that was my very yeah. first show, you know, live, something like that. They recorded us and everything, it was great. And it's called I mean, In the Valley or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a while back, yeah. It was, it was like, 808 In the Valley or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, so we did that, and then since then, you know, we've been working on the album and stuff like that, and learning a lot of stuff, and, you know, we finally got our album done after a long time but yeah we are six years or yeah like, dude after forever, like so long and i joined this album. i joined and then i was like okay cool we're gonna make an album it's just like oh okay <laughs> but yeah, yeah so, yeah. so but yeah and then since then we've just been playing a lot of shows we're working on our album, on our album yeah, recording album. it like one two three ten times and then you know of course with covid and everything we stopped playing for a good while and that was when we were doing a lot of the most recent and best recordings that we've ever had with dave klein who do engineered and everything for our album and stuff and then yeah we finally got to release it this past december and now we're here yeah we're, we're right. really whacking the viper room it's good yeah. stuff we're whacking mocking mocking yeah you know whacking open it whacking i'm all right now you can it's call me out that's it i am a little bit <laughs> yeah. i mean the language. everyone <laughs> that is not american will call you out but yeah. no, they no, also no, know we're a you. shit show no, no, they no. know we're a shit show yeah. <laughs> you know it's vodka we're just american yes all right now, let's talk about that competition. Yeah. What made you boys want to compete tonight? Oh, wow. Uh, so, uh, at least for me, personally speaking, from, uh, I, I guess for as long as we've been in a band and stuff, like, it, I was never, I only got into metal, like, way recently when I was, like, in high school. Most people that I talk to have, like, been listening since they were, like, fetus is still in the womb right now. Yeah. <laughs> They're talking about, like, oh, yeah, I've been, like, I've, I was listening to Venom this entire time and Possess and all these other bands and this kind of stuff. But for me, one of the biggest dreams has always been, I'm a dreamer, so the biggest thing for me was, like, I want to make sure that I get a play on a, the biggest stage possible. I don't know for sure one of the biggest things, you know, it's a metal festival. It's one the of biggest. the biggest... The, it yeah, is the, the, biggest. the biggest, biggest gathering of metalheads. Yeah. Yes, the biggest gathering of metalheads on the entire planet. So for me personally, that was one of the biggest dreams for me. Is like I want to play there and I want to bring these guys with me. So that's Ooh, yeah. like, that's always been my biggest dream. And so that's our shared today. dream for the most part. We all want to play in Germany. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. why not? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we all I mean, we all want to play on the biggest stage for sure. But oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean I I, I I I totally get you. I mean tonight tonight we did real good and we were feeling it. You know, yeah, I, we'll really. Up. I think a lot of it, you know, it's just, we've played a lot of shows. I mean, we've been around a long time. We've played a lot of shows in ravines, in backyards, <laughs> that, uh, river That sounds like, like fucking L.A. Up yeah. and down stairs, in the slums, in the, everywhere. Oh, yeah. And man, we just want to, we want to play a lot of stages and stuff like that. It's fun. Yeah. It's so much more fun to be able to be on a stage and have some, you know, in your ears, you can hear everybody, you can hear how good yeah, you guys sound. sound production is way better than a backyard. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like, <laughs> when you're playing out in the middle of nowhere, and there's a, like, diesel... punk shows, oh. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, no. But, <laughs> Sorry, no. When they've got a diesel <laughs> generator. They're the best memories. <laughs> yeah. If you can, if, you, if you're memories, sober enough to remember. Yeah. yeah. That's also no, true. If you've got a diesel generator that's, like, twice as loud as your band playing, I mean, it's just not as fun. But, yeah, I don't know. But, so, just playing on stages, you know, we just want to play a lot of stages, we want to do all that kind of stuff, because we can have more fun with the crowd. There's more crowds. There's, you know, stuff like that is just a little bit more enjoyable. There's a certain standard that's really enjoyable to play. Yeah. Yeah. Not saying the backyards aren't, but there's definitely there's a different feel, and it's something that we really want to get yeah. into. Yeah. We just want to keep moving up, keep going up the chain. Yeah. Pretty much. Hey, right. as long as you don't stop, you will. Yeah. 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 Oh. We we're dreamers right now. There's nowhere. Just yeah. keep dreaming. Yeah. Nowhere yeah. Nowhere to go go we're bottom of the barrel. There's nowhere but up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Unless you dig. Unless you dig. Oh, Let me start digging. I love dig digging. Yeah. All right. Now, let's keep going into this competition. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys got a chance to scope out the competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Now, uh, let's uh, 
Let's find out. Who is the band to beat for you tonight? Who is the band you would love to beat? <laughs> hey, so we are neutral people here, right? Hey! hey, hey, hey. We neutral. respect what? everyone. Everyone loves everyone, but there's exactly. always a band that you would just Except die to beat. We, so that's oh, the yeah. thing for us, right? We, conceited as that is, as it sounds, we always focus on what it is that we can do best, right? And for us, it's always doing what we can and just putting on the best show honestly fucking possible. Yeah. There's nothing that matters to us other than just being able to engage with the crowd and being able to give that power and energy. The other bands, I'm, I'm hoping they're doing the same thing because we don't really focus on that. Yeah. We yeah. focus always on what it is that we're doing to make sure that we give the best show possible. Yeah, yeah not to say that there's any, there's no bands here that we want to give street cred for because Program to Hate is also a really good band that we've been close with for a they're long really time good, actually. yeah yeah they're really good drift is we, we we've noticed recently we always scope out the competition but the main thing for us is always making sure that it regardless that everyone has a good time even if they're peeps in the crowd and stuff but making sure that we bet the, we put the our own best show possible as long yeah. as one of us makes it out of the hood yeah, yeah there yeah, we go as long as one of us makes it out of the hood that's that's one of us <laughs> super start on you know we're up there exactly worth it. exactly uh, vince vince you know you guys are just stepping stones for me to get up there exactly oh yeah as competitive yeah, tonight as each other. That's yeah, it. Yeah. All right, well, let's keep going with this competition. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, let's say you make it all the way to Vakken. What the fuck are you guys going to do first? Like, what right. would you do first? Drink. No. Drink. <laughs> drink. Drink, motherfucker. Drink, motherfucker. Drink. It's Germany. It's they got the beers. So, wait, you got to get your passports. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the first thing. That's the literal first thing. That's the first thing. But when we get there, I said when you get to Vakken. Yeah, the first thing is celebratory shot. You just fucking down it. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh yeah. As I'm not playing sober. Not sober. Yeah. Yeah. Like sober. In the airport, yeah. In right the fucking there. air. Alcohol. <laughs> Parachuting. I mean it's Germany, probably. Yeah, no, hundred percent. It's probably yeah, it's on the plane. It's Germany. Yeah. yeah dude. But other than that, I mean I mean we just want to scope the place out. We just want to see what it's like. I mean, I've never been I've not been out of the country. I know yeah, maybe man. a few people here have, but yeah. it's new. I don't think anyone has been to Europe. I'm sure it's an entirely different world. Yeah, yeah. I've totally expensive. been to Europe. Totally I've totally been, been to Europe. Europe. I'm, not uh, you know, I'm like me and Vince have totally been. Well, it's like well, that's part of the up. that's part of the experience, right? Is like um, for us is like being part of this small little like local town band. That's the biggest thing for us is yeah. wanting to go out and explore the world. Expand well, our influence. Yeah, being able to like go out there and see what it is that like that's outside of like La Puente, which is where we're from. Yeah. So yeah, that's like the biggest dream for us is just being able to go out and explore so and yeah celebratory shots but yes. then more than likely sightseeing <laughs> yeah so, a little bit, yeah. Of, that. A little bit of, of connection making stuff like that yeah, yeah all oh, the yeah. good stuff all the good stuff but yeah that's kind of uh, that's kind of where we're at <laughs> that's the first thing for Vakin. <laughs> all right now that we've talked about all the positives let's talk about a possible negative Ooh. if you had to renounce your win what band would you want to hold the torch in your honor? Bexum. 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 Good buddies of, of ours. 100%. They support us. We support, support them. them. Yeah, we help them out. Us. Like, they, we're, we're homies. I mean, they, we practice, we jam with them. We practice with them. We, we chill. They're just, at every show that they're going to be at, there's at least one of us there. At every show that we got, there's at least one of them here. It's just like, yeah, they're generally the closest band to us. And they're, and they they're just great them. guys. But and what they, band tonight? Oh! Band tonight. Well, Vexum was here tonight. Yeah. 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 Y'all motherfuckers, they didn't play tonight. <laughs> so they already played. Well, I mean, they already placed. Yeah. That's true, that's well, true. Okay. Well, what? So far, the only... I we know so. is programmed to hate. It's programmed to hate. Yeah. We know them the most. We, we have probably the most history with them, but... Yeah, out of all the bands, I mean, we probably don't know them the best. So we would want to yeah. see them because we think that they're really good, too. And we think that they're definitely the competition yeah, yeah, in this really show. Yeah, they're, they're really killer. Um, they're really killer. So, yeah, we're, we're hoping for that, you know. Everyone's we, a little bit more biased for their friends, and I understand that. Yeah, oh, yeah. But I, that's what I like. I like seeing the band support each other and just show their love for each other. Oh, I love yeah. that. It's adorable, and it's <laughs> sweet, and... <laughs> yeah. Until we got to beat the shit out of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to go fucking... But yeah, do that. Someone's buying exactly. the other beers. Yeah, exactly. You guys got to support each other. Whoever wins buys the non winners beer. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's okay. There we go. All right. Now let's talk about the future. Ooh. What would you say know. to any band that wants to compete as well next year? Ooh. Who would we want to see compete? No. 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 no, no, no. What, no, no, no. what advice. advice would you give ah. to any band who wants Dingus. to do the same thing? Uh, what do you think? Be prepared. Yeah. Test oh, yeah. Prepared. your shit. Make sure it works. If you have, and we learned it tonight a little bit with our wireless systems, make sure that they're going to work there because just because it's wireless doesn't mean that it's going to work all the time because there's a Wi-Fi router, there's something that fucks up your signal and you don't sound as good or something. Yeah. It just, Murphy's make sure you got your cable. Yeah. Everything. It's just, 
Get, make sure you got your cables. Make sure you got your batteries. Everything's charged. Got backup your phone everything. charged. Backup yeah, picks. Yeah. Backup literally everything. If you have a double of every single pedal you've got, every single amp head you've got, <laughs> yeah. do it. They've got a back line here. We all brought our own heads. Bring I mean, he, brought, yeah, he had yeah. his Bring own, own throne. Shit. Bring your own yeah. shit. Bring You're, your own shit every time. That's the other thing, too. Yeah, back line. It's a back line. Sure, it's there, and it's nice to not bring your own stuff, but we've seen it we've back seen it line. not work i mean literally vexing yeah. last week and had trouble with the back line here so that's why we brought our own gear yeah and we've had issues in the past with our stuff failing Tons of issues. Yeah. oh yeah even, that was didn't have, like, yeah. even just down the street right i mean we even, played with diamond head yeah, yeah even whiskey like... we, whiskey or gogo we were opening up for diamond head one of our heroes and it was the shittiest feeling when <laughs> <laughs> you know, wow. we're setting up and we're using their equipment. They even straight up asked me, like, oh, are you cool using our stuff? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? You know, we go on. My entire set was fucked up. The entire thing. I wish I could fucking make that up, but no. Yeah. It was absolutely terrible. Our band manager, Roman, props to him, fucking just fiddling with it the whole set, making sure I even sounded so good, or even had any sound at all. Yeah. But, yeah. See, I wasn't in the band at that point, so I was laughing at him. But, yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, I mean, definitely advice. Uh, one, it's definitely something even we learned and we've been uh, getting better at, I would say, is engage with the crowd. You know, yeah. oh, the crowd is just too, as much yeah. part of the show as you are. I mean, yeah. everybody loves to come hear you, but I, I can now officially say with experiences, I love to hear them. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no that's better, that's for, there's right? no better yeah. feeling than the connection that you have with your crowd. You yeah. can be the best sounding fucking band, but if you're not engaging with the crowd, it's, it's not a show. It's, it's, it's yeah. not fun. You gotta yeah, put on a show. Fun. It's not just music, it's visual yeah, it's too. Visual. Yeah. 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 Do the entertainment. It's an experience. Definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're paying for. They're paying the money to go watch you. To so watch you gotta, yeah, you Wait, y'all motherfuckers gotta pay? Yeah, yeah. that's what we're saying. Yeah. If you're gonna go see a show, you gotta put on a show because that's the thing. If they wanna listen to you, they just pop in your CD. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I mean, at that point, it's like Ooh. they made the trouble to come to see us. Exactly. Yeah. So, so we gotta make the trouble to do it all. To break a leg. You have to be the trouble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Trouble. Yeah. We gotta make the trouble. the crowd. So, yeah. yeah. All right, now let's keep going. Since we're nearing the end, I would like to know a little bit more. Where can we find more of your content, your social medias? Let's 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 find out ways to follow <laughs> you guys and be weird ass stalkers. Stalk me. Yes. Oh yes. Uh, you can follow oh, us fine. on Instagram at Mortalis Official. We have all our links in our link tree for that. Uh, we have a TikTok, we have a Facebook, we have a Twitter. Pretty much all in that link tree on Instagram at Mortalis Official. We're on YouTube as well. We're on all streaming platforms for our music from the Cryogenics, which is our latest release. Uh -huh. uh, so Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube. Um, yeah. YouTube Anything you can think. Just give a Google search of Mortalis Official, yeah. and then you'll yeah. find every single just fucking time. steal our music. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. Napster it. Come yeah. on. Oh yeah, we're actually on Napster too. Hell, yeah. Yeah. That's, That's how you know we made yeah. it. We're on Napster. I mean, we even okay. got like fake YouTube accounts that's streaming our <laughs> oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's not us, but you can still listen to us. Mars is like even better. Fucking grave right now. Even better, you can go to Bandcamp and you can get a CD from us because we got exactly. we always got CDs. We're always going to be filling out orders, stuff like that. So whenever you want stuff, go to the Bandcamp. You can yes. see all the links to everywhere and see all of our merch and stuff too. Yes, yes. So follow Hell us on yeah. Instagram for sure. For, sure, for sure. All right, now last question for you boys. I'm ready. I'm tense. Any new? That. Don't tense too much. You might <laughs> shit a brick. We're gonna take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now are there any new things in the works? <laughs> that you guys would like to divulge <laughs> to the public. Yeah, yeah, we're actually recently just, uh, Austin here has just laid us an entire fucking library of riffs. <laughs> so we're gonna go in there, uh, I don't know how soon, but fairly soon, and just dissect it all. See what we like, see what, how we can work with what we got. Throw in some, of, some ideas around, and we're just looking forward to the future, absolutely. Just know it's very soon. Very, very It'll soon. It'll be soon. You'll It'll see soon. some stuff, and the Riff House it's full. It is full. There's, oh, yeah. there's so, so much, much riffage, yes. so much to do because we had so much time with this album and everything like that we learned a lot. And oh, so yeah. we've expanded. So especially if you like the stuff like butterflies and say what you mean, that's the direction that we're kind of headed in. So be looking out for that stuff. It's coming. Yep. Well, thank you so much, boys, and good luck out there. Let's uh, go check out the rest of the band. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. Thanks, Rock out. All right, so we were on with the, what was it, fourth band to play tonight? Correct. Fourth band, Jesus, we're getting through this. Yeah, we're All right, on. so would you boys please introduce yourselves, what you do, and your band, please and thank you. Thank you. We are Deified. I am Alex. I am the lead singer and guitarist. I'm Steve. I'm the drummer. Max. I'm bassist and backup vocals. I am Mickey. I am keyboards. 
I'm Dave, I am backup vocals and rhythm guitar. Brilliant. Now, who would like to tell us a little bit about the history of your band? Yeah, well, so we formed in like late 2019. We played a couple of shows and then COVID happened. And our, one of our last shows that we actually played was here at the last Viper Room show. That one's um, yeah, but I don't want it to go. Beep, That's Dow. You're fine. It's just Dow. Um, yeah, so, you know, we formed. It's taken a long time to get this lineup. We've had a couple iterations, but this is the final iteration where I feel like it's finally solid. We have solid players, you know, we're all committed yeah, and everything. Thank you. Um, and yeah, I feel like this is like the final version of Deified and we, this is only as of late 2019. We have an album that we've been working on for the past couple of years or so. Our pianist here, Mickey, is a Capitol Records trained producer. So it's been nice because we had made a demo originally and while it, it got the songs down, kind of writing it on paper and anything. It didn't sound exactly like we wanted it to. We're, oh yeah, thank you. We, we could have used it on stage. It's, it's not come, I swear. My hair um, does that too. Oh, oh nice. Like they do. Yeah. This is what happens when you ra uh, raid Area 51. But yes, please continue. <laughs> short story. Uh, long story short, we started in 20, late 2019 with this version. COVID happened, and we've been working on the album since then, and we're nearly done, and that should be out in June, July. Brilliant. Now, let's talk about this competition. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So, what made you guys want to compete tonight? A, I just want to play anywhere I can play. Anywhere that there's going to be people, I'm down, I'm in. Set B, uh, we've worked with Andrew from Metal Assault many times before. Love him. He's given, he's given us a lot of chances. He honestly was one of the first people to give us our initial chance where it was like, hey, we're a new band and we don't know anybody. And he was like, I'll take you in. And ever since then, you know, he's, he's helped us get more shows. I feel like a third of our shows have been through him, so we're very appreciative and thankful for him. Uh, Valken, that's I think the dream for everybody, right? At every metal I mean, band, every metalhead. Correct. Every metalhead wants to play Valken. I think it's what we all grew up watching and seeing and idolizing. So the fact that, while it's an unlikely path to victory, I think even having a point zero zero one percent chance to actually play and get the chance to go to Valken and go to Germany, that's kind of like the ideal. And again, just any time we could play in front of people, uh, that's kind of the goal. So we're happy to play wherever, especially when it's a little competition and there's a prize of playing in Germany. Well, let's keep talking about this competition then. I'm going to kill you. If I keep laughing through this, I'm going to kill you. I've already laughed through half these interviews. I don't need to, I don't need to die through the rest of them. God damn it. I got work to do. Yeah, we can, we'll, we'll have the very serious. Serious up, serious up. You don't need to be that serious, but serious. it's a dumb little thing right there that I don't only 17 muscles to smile though. Uh, but resting That's bitch a, face. It only requires 18, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like the way that one thinks. <laughs> but onward, my boys. We're talking about this competition. Yeah. Now let's dive a little bit deeper. Who's the band to beat for you? I'm pretty sure you've gotten a chance to check out the competition. For us, all the bands are great, but personally for us, I think the the two that we were coming into worried about the most and seeing them I agree with, um, at least for me, Program to Hate and also Drift. I think Program to Hate hits really hard. I like the energy that they bring. We've seen them before. They did a great uh, System of a Down cover. Not that they could play it tonight because no covers, but we've seen them before and we saw the energy that they were going to bring. And on another end of the spectrum, Drift for us, they seem to be a complete package in a professional setting. Um, it looks like they play with in-ear monitors, they have an established look, they seem to have a budget for nice things, and they just seem like a very serious, well-executed band as a whole. So at least for me personally, I don't know about the other guys, but those were the two that I had top of mind. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree with you, especially like seeing Program to Hate play and just the constant energy throughout the entire show. It really was like, all right, these guys have got their stuff down. Like, you know, it's a great response from everybody. They're, they're tight, you know, they're keeping it engaged. It's, it's definitely someone to look out for. Kind of has that, um, like, very, like, American metalcore thing that came, like, sound that was very popular for, still popular. But then also, like, Drift, I agree, also, like, has that, in, like, kind of like an industrial sound that I know a, a lot of people in America do Drift pun intended, uh, drift to. <laughs> so, like, oh, they I even have that figured out. <laughs> <laughs> they have the puns and everything. You're fine, it does that. But, yeah, I I, I, it's okay. I'd, I'd agree with. I mean, I'm 
both of their sentiments about that. Right. Well, now that we've talked about the positives, so uh, let's keep let's keep diving down a little bit further. Okay. Let's say you make it all the way. Okay. What the fuck would you guys do first when you make it to Vakken? Uh, party. <laughs> <laughs> we we would party that night that we decided that or that we figured out that we win. If we go. God damn, I don't even know. I just want to enjoy it as much as I can. We go play Vakken. Yeah, we would go. <laughs> it, we go play Vakken. Probably home. cry yeah. from just happiness, honestly. Um, try and figure out the logistics and just try and do our best. And honestly, I, if, if I ever went to Vakken, I feel like I would be less less worried about my performance and us playing and more worried about who I'm going to go see after we're done playing. Yeah. Like, and before. And before, although I feel like we get like the 11 a.m. spot. You never but, know. People will be there. We're yeah. headlining. Yeah, we're headlining. We get the 11 p.m. slot. But no, I, it's like Ozfest. They still had people at like nine, ten in the morning. Whenever they started, people were still there, like the, ready to rock. So. It is. It is. Dramatic. I mean, look at 70k. Ever, do people even yeah. sleep on that? I I imagine no. <laughs> or are they just powered by energy drinks and fucking and whiskey, seasickness, alcohol, <laughs> keeping them awake? Other substances. <laughs> Everything under the sun and not. And it's, it's, international, it's so international water, so harness the <laughs> energy <laughs> of ten solar cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> now, since we've talked about all these positives, uh, let's touch on a little bit more negative subject. Let's say you guys had to renounce a win. What band tonight would you want to take your place? So far, I haven't seen Drift, and unfortunately, I was packing up and I didn't get to see Deep Within. But for now, I would say Program to Hate. I agree with you. I, I think in a festival setting, they would do really well because, again, that energy that they bring, I think, serves a large crowd very, very well. It's Circle Pits, they had the Wall of Death, they had everything. Um, they're very energetic and lively, and I appreciate that. As both a fan of the music and also just a fan of like seeing live bands play. They also had some catchy hooks. As, yeah, yeah, that's true as well, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're the only ones who I'm like, humming songs after they were done. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I was out here interviewing, so I was just like, I only get to catch one or two songs from each of you guys. You Hopefully it was a good one. Seconds. <laughs> it sucks. It I would sucks. like to see all of you just perform in your entirety, but I don't get that. It's sad. Well, it is. You could see the whole show on our Instagram page, because I was live streaming it from Ooh. our stage. Yeah. There you go. So we see it from our point of view. At Deified Band. <laughs> At, on Instagram, on Facebook. D-E-I-F-I-E-D-B-A-N-D. -E yes. Our yes. name's a palindrome. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> <laughs> cut that out. Really. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> Bloopers are a thing. <laughs> All right. Now. Let's talk about the future. Let's... What's the advice you would give to bands that want to compete next year? I think you really have to think about the stage presence and trying to have some crowd interaction. I think that's something that we really worked on this last time since our first show. When we played here two years ago, we were still very, very new, like literally just a couple months with this lineup, and it was kind of, hey guys, we're DF5, we're gonna play, and, and then we played the shows, and you know, we lost, <laughs> and it was whatever. And, but this time, I felt like we tried to come at it, try and think about the flow of the set, more so than just the, how the songs flow. Think about how the crowd interaction is, try and ramp up the crowd as much as possible, try and like shout out things, try and, I don't know. I, I think that would be my main advice is, yes, you can have your songs as solid and practice that as much as possible, but do you have a look? Do you have an essence? Do you have an image and a branding set behind you? Because that is actually one of the grading criteria that they are judging us on. Um, so that's very important. That's Trust like, me, I know, I've looked at everything. <laughs> I yeah. watched them judge you. You guys are losing already. <laughs> You're 30 points behind. I actually haven't caught up on who's winning so far. It's nice. like, it's it's not just it's music not business, you, it is entertainment I looked back at the second band and that's all I got. Yeah, that, That's a good point though, it is the entertainment industry. It's not, I think a lot of musicians, me personally speaking, it can be very selfish. It's these are my songs and my performance and you're here to see me, but at the end of the day, everybody else isn't there to see you and you still have to draw them in so you have to entertain people who have never seen you before you have to draw them in you have to make them like you and you have to make them fans for life um and i think that's a criminally underrated aspect of music that i think a lot of local bands don't utilize you belong to it's also the chemistry within the band itself like people will respond like if everyone could be super technically amazing musicians but they hate each other's guts then 
what's the point? But if they get along, and also it's, it's a blend of chemistry and technicality because you can, like I said, you can be, um, you could be saying like, oh yeah, you know, we're, you know, super technical, but you're looking at your shoes the whole time and you're not talking to the, or interacting with the other band members or feeling it. But if you're all party and no technique, then it just doesn't, you know, it's just a circus at that point. And I, you know, but it's, it's a blend of those, I, I, I feel. I get that. I like it. Now, since we're getting to a close for you guys, where can we find more of your content? What are your social medias? Anything we can follow you guys on? Yes, on literally everything, whether it's Facebook, a website, Instagram, TikTok, we are Deified Band. D-E-I-F-I-E-D Band. B-A-N-D. On Spotify, we've got a demo out. We're working on an album coming out soon, but there's a demo and a single should be out within a couple months, and that will still be under Deified. D-E-I-F-I-E-D. It's a palindrome. Now, since you were just touching on uh, new things, is there, uh, would you guys like to divulge anything that is in the works? Is there anything you'd like to uh, tell fa new fans, old fans, just prepare like your know. buttholes because this album that we have coming out is gonna be the fucking tits. It sounds so fucking good. It is heavy. It's melodic. It is powerful. It's emotion. It's emotive, evocative. I could list a hundred adjectives that describe this album. It's everything and nothing at the same time. And I think we are all extremely, extremely proud of it. And we've all put in a fuck ton of work to get it here, to do it ourselves. Because luckily, Mickey here is a Capitol Records train producer, as I've said before. So he's been able- <laughs> The look we, on his we've face, been able, can only see it now. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure riding on Mickey to make this album sound good. But I can already say from what we have now, we've done, we're, we're done tracking everything and we're in the final mixing and mastering stage and it sounds fucking awesome. Hopefully if you liked us to hear us live, I think you're gonna like the album even more and it's just gonna help us grow our live presence more. Um, and yeah, honestly, that's kind of what we're focusing on is wrapping that up, booking more shows, mixing and mastering the album, starting to get singles out and really push that. It is also by far the most ambitious thing that I've ever worked on in my entire life. And the amount of like, attention to detail and effort that we've put into just like the smallest things would mean the world for people to actually listen to it. Yeah, and not that it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but it, uh, of complexity to greatness, but on the complexity side, essentially every single song we have have over 300 tracks. They have 100-piece choirs, 80-piece orchestras, symphonies, uh, and everything's done by us, and we're extremely proud of it. Um, we're really looking forward to showing people the finished product. Well, thank you so much, boys. It's very impressive, and good luck out there. And we cannot wait to see more of you guys in the future. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so thank you. much, and good luck. Thank you, thank you very much.